Dear students, hope you are all doing well. In this lecture, I am going to teach the first assignment of water supply engineering. Coming to first question, all major civilizations were concentrated around water bodies in the past because water was required to fulfill all basic needs, water was costly to buy, flooding did not happen improper policies of water management so generally the basic need for all living beings is water so all the earlier civilizations were concentrated to get pure water so answer a for question number one Question number 2. Water supply engineering primarily deals with Option A. Water abstraction, purification, supply and utility service management. B. Civil engineering design of large water infrastructures like dams, hydropower projects etc. Basin scale water management including hydrological processes. So water supply engineering, this option is correct this is correct this is correct so it will deal all the given options so answer d for question number two coming to question number three how can i how can a citizen act responsibly to counter the issues and challenges associated with water provision first option through judicious use of water that is Every citizen is responsible like he has to feel judicious regarding water usage and acquire knowledge and awareness about the water sources, services and provisions. We, As a citizen of India or any country, he or she has to know regarding knowledge, regarding water, where is the source of water, what are all the services and what are all the provisions that are available with water and option c engaging in stakeholders consolation to provide inputs and feedback on water services obviously this is also correct so answer d for question number three coming to question number four most of the global freshwater reserves are available in the form of obviously freshwater most of the fresh water, most of the global fresh water reserves available in the form of glaciers. So, answer B for question number 4. Coming to question number 5, a country having 1300 meter cube per capita availability of water is termed as generally per capita availability. less than 1700 meter cube per year this type of availability country is known as water stressed country and less than 1000 meter cube per year is known as water scarce country okay so option c for question number 5 because 1300 is less than 1000 50 1700 it is not less than 1000 so answer c for question number 5 coming to question number 6 the average annual mean rainfall in india is in the range of average annual mean rainfall is in the range of 800 to 1600 mm okay so answer c for question number six coming to question number seven the major components of a typical water supply system include so water supply system include so it is catch water reservoir 
and water treatment works and primary service reservoir and pumping station service reservoir raw water conveyance and after this finally to consumers so pumping stations raw water conveyance water treatment works pipe networks and water distribution answer d for question number 7 coming to question number 8 which of the following water sources is considerable ideal for drinking purpose obviously distilled water is sea water having some salt Storm water is not completely pure because storm water during precipitation when rainfall occurs uh, in the atmosphere some pollutants will mix with it so storm water is not pure okay so distilled water is ideal for drinking purpose answer a for question number eight coming to question number nine river basin that provides the maximum utility surface water in india obviously it is Ganga river basin Ganga river basin provides maximum utilizable surface water in India so answer D for question number 9 Coming to question number 10, water use trend is significantly affected by, so, technology adoption, that is, old technology, new technology, old technology, availability of water, availability of pure water, that is, treatment works are not that much efficient, nowadays, treatment is efficient, so, we can adopt new technology, and change of social status and living standards, for example, if you get a government job or any private sector, you will get much income. You will change your status. You will consume more water and environmental and climate changes. These are all the trendies for water usage. So answer D for question number 10. Coming to question number 11. In India, issues relating to groundwater are mainly. So groundwater depletion geogenetic contamination that is groundwater contamination excess groundwater replenishment leading to water logging and large scale salinization of groundwater that is most of the salts are mixed in the groundwater because of that groundwater is getting dip contaminated and sometimes when rainfall is very low groundwater will get depleted so these are all the issues relating to groundwater okay so answer d for question number 11 coming to question number 12 globally which sector demands the highest fresh water consumption okay so it is agriculture sector domestic industrial and power so around 70 percent of fresh water withdraws withdrawals are used for agriculture okay so answer a for question number 12 coming to question number 13 which of the following is not categorized as an environmental need fulfilled by water so here yeah in this question the largest consumption is agriculture and then industry and then domestic and then power okay answer a for question number 12 coming to question number 13 not categorized as environmental need so in this the answer is hydrological need
okay so generally there are two types of needs human needs and environmental needs so human need domestic need so out of this hydrological need is not categorized as environmental need answer a for question number 13 coming to question number 14 so he has given three options in the matching so first is cwc cwc means central water commission it is related to surface water and cgwb central groundwater board this is related to groundwater and imd indian meteorological department this is related to precipitation okay so in the matching list answer a for question number 14 coming to question number 15 which of the following is not part or component of typical urban water services so urban water services are storm water and rain water management that is whenever a rainfall will occur so urban water service has to do management of storm water and rain water and water treatment and distribution and waste water management all the above three are a part of urban water services so answer d for question number 15 thank you